so much blonde so much blonde but it's cute hey you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i did uh I guess this is a get ready with me hair and makeup. In this video, I did my makeup, my hair. I created this really soft matte look and I also have this really nice colored wig. This hair is from AF Sister Wigs. It's their curly bob wig. If you guys are interested in seeing how I created this really cute fall look keep on watching hey guys hey again so i really just want a soft matte look something that's gonna go really well with my hair so i don't want to say natural i guess i should say something that's neutral first i'm going to be using the fenty beauty brow wax my eyebrows they have a natural arch but what i'm going to do is just take the styling pen and try to make my arch less visible because I'm doing a really soft airbrush look. I just don't want my eyebrows to take away from the look. Now I'm using the wax stick on the other side. Now I'm just going to put that on my brows. And this just keeps my brows in place. It's actually like a primer. It keeps my brows from getting oily so I really like this product. And when I put eyeshadow on my brows because most of the time I do use eyeshadow or whatever eyebrow product I'm using this wax really helps it stick and not smudge and I feel like my brows just instantly look darker I actually don't plan on filling in my eyebrows with anything today I'm just going to outline them with a little bit of concealer and then at the very end of this makeup video if I feel like they need to be a little darker I'll make them darker but I want this look to be very soft so I don't want anything on my face to look harsh and I feel like sometimes my eyebrows can the darker my eyebrows look the more harsh they look so that's why I don't plan on putting any product on my eyebrows besides the wax because they made them appear darker already I'm just using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter concealer I almost said foundation concealer in the shade uh, 480 and I'm just going to outline my brows. I like to use this concealer when I am doing a natural look, just because this concealer is really close to my actual skin tone. It's not too light and it blends in really nice. I'm just going to take a little bit more concealer and I'm going to drag it straight across. I am trying to get rid of my arch to be honest, but it's not working. I'm taking my Morphe E30 brush to conceal that concealer. I'm going to be using this really light base from P. Louise. It's in the shade Rumor 5. I'm doing a very soft crease. I'm probably going to use that word a lot throughout this video. Soft, soft, soft because I want my makeup to look soft. I like to use this base because it makes the eyeshadow colors come up better on my eyes. And I use way too much concealer as you guys can see. A little goes a long way. And I say that to y'all, but I'm really talking to myself because I feel like every time I put on, really, it's with everything. I always start off with a lot of products. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. I just feel like I need a lot of it. Now I'm going to use this Morphe E30 brush to blend this out. Just gonna add a little bit of setting powder on top of that base so my eyeshadow does not crease. I want a really soft cut crease, so I'm gonna use this bronzer from Revolution Beauty in the shade. This is in the shade Deep, and I'm gonna put that in my crease area.
I'm taking a smaller brush to drag that brown all the way to the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going back to the very first brush that I used, which was this e.l.f. flat brush, and I'm going to cut my crease. It's not going to be a really like defined cut crease. It's going to be soft. But whatever base I still have on this brush, that's what I'm going to use to cut the crease. And it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. I'm not making it perfect. I do want the creases to be the same size, though. So that's really what I'm trying to focus on. But other than that, it doesn't really have to be perfect. Okay, so this crease is higher than this crease. I'm gonna use a little bit more of that P. Louise base to make the creases even. I'm gonna go back with the brush that I used to apply the first color, so that really dark brown. And I'm just going to blend the two colors even more. Taking that smaller brush again, dragging that brown downwards just to get rid of the harsh line from the base. I'm going into my Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow Palette. I'm gonna use this very light pink. I really didn't think I was gonna ever use this color, but hey, I'm using it today. And I'm just gonna put it to this shade on top of the base. There is nothing soft about these lashes, but these are the softest lashes that I have right now. I'm not even sure if they're evenly applied because I can't see the viewfinder. They look like they are, so hopefully they are when I watch this video, but we're just gonna go ahead and continue. So I'm gonna take off my scarf to start on my face. Y'all really hope this hair, um, looks good after i style it this hair is very very different and i just hope this whole look comes together the foundation i'm using today is by fenty beauty it's their pro filter foundation in the shade 470 and i'm using this foundation today just because it's very mattifying and i'm going for a soft matte makeup look i use about three two and a half to three pumps of this and that's it so i just Put it on my foundation brush. We'll do three. Ooh, ooh, it's about to spill. Okay, and now I'm just going to put it all over my face. Foundation is blended out and this frontal, <laughs> I tinted my frontal too dark or maybe I just messed it up in the process. I'm going to have a video of like how I installed this hair and everything in my description box so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But after I sprayed the Gosta Be Glued Spray, it turned the frontal darker. Like does that happen to y'all? Let me know because I don't know. But once I style this hair, it's going to look good. I'm just going to put the scarf back on just because it's just... Okay, you know what? We'll just take the L today. To highlight my face, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I'm taking this Morphe E30 brush to blend out the concealer. To blend out my concealer more because I kind of use too much. See, that's what I'm talking about. I have a heavy hand. 
I'm gonna use this sponge to get rid of some of this concealer because I just have too much on my face and it's not, I just don't want to blend all of this into my skin. I always put a concealer on the sides of my nose and then I drag the concealer to the middle of my nose. And I don't know, I think in my head I feel like I'm doing a reverse contour kind of thing on my nose because I really don't know how to contour my nose. I'm setting my concealer with the Maybelline Loose Me Powder. I really want to try the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Honey because I've been seeing a lot of great reviews about it. So next I'm using this MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder to set my foundation. So I'm just putting that everywhere I place my foundation and I am gonna put it on top of the concealer on my chin just to get rid of the lightness. You know, honestly, I'm not gonna even lie, this matte look, it doesn't look that bad. I'm not really a huge fan of matte makeup just because I feel like it just makes me look crusty in a way. <laughs> but right now it doesn't look that bad. So yeah, my frontal is really bothering me y'all. Uh, it's just so, I can't wait to fix this hair. For my lip, I am using this NYX lip pencil in the shade Espresso along with my Fenty Beauty um, Stunner Lip Paint. Yeah, Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Unveil. I don't use this often, so I'm really excited to be using this today. This is pretty. This is pretty. Ooh, this is pretty. I like it. Okay. This is really cute. Am I missing a step? So you guys see my eyebrows one. I didn't put anything on my eyebrows, but just concealer and a little bit of that wax. I really wanted a natural brow today. And my eyes, they're just so simple and subtle. This look came out great. Now I'm about to take down my hair and I'm just gonna style it on camera. So let's just hope my hair and the makeup looks good together. I just twisted this hair in many sections and it's pretty wet. Well, it's not extremely wet, it's a little damp actually, just so it wouldn't tangle. This hair is from AF Sister Wig and this is a very different look for me, y'all. Like this color, let me just take it down and show you guys. This is their curly bob wig and the length is 14 inches, so. I've never had hair with blonde highlights before. Very, very different. I don't know if I like like this hair yet, but it's very different, so I'll just say that. I haven't really put anything in this hair but water and mousse, so I don't know what hairstyle I wanna do or anything. This hair is very different. I'm thinking about doing a side part. And I'm gonna put the part on my left side so I can cover up some of this blonde. I don't like to pluck hair while it's on. I really prefer to pluck hair on a mannequin head or just when it's off of my head because I'm a perfectionist. I just feel like I'm not gonna pluck a straight line, a very straight, precise line. But I'm gonna try because you literally cannot see the part. And, uh, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna try. That's all I can do is try. It's not really working out, so I'm just gonna take some concealer and make a part. For now, until I take this wig off, then I'll be able to really part it how I want. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I really, I don't know what I'm doing, y'all, but I just know it's gonna come out good. I have faith. So I'm literally putting this on top of the hair and I know I'm a beginner y'all. So I don't do hair. I'm not a professional hairstylist, but this works for me. Okay, so there's that part situation. Then I'm just gonna take my brush my morphe concealer brush to blend in that part a little bit 
Yeah, you know, honestly, it don't look bad. My camera literally picks up everything. So I feel like when I watch this clip, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh. But what can I do? Like, I can't just sit here and it'll bother me more if I don't have a part at all. So this is cute. Okay, I really, I'm starting to really like this look now, you guys. I'm gonna take my spray bottle with water and I'm just gonna spray the hair down. So I'm only really going to focus on the roots just to make the hair flatter at the top and then I want it to be like poofy towards the ends. This is the Smooth and Shine Mousse. I just got this. I picked this up at Walmart. It was like $4 and I just, I don't know if it's great, if it's bad. I just needed something to put on this hair. so. I'm just going to put that on the roots of the hair to make it flat. Y'all see my, look at my frontal. I really didn't do that bad of a job. I just, it's just a little too dark and I didn't have any scissors to really get really close to that waist to cut off. Other than that, I feel like I did a pretty good job. So I'm just going to take my comb and tuck it behind my ear. So I'm taking this bobby pin and I'm just going to pin the hair behind my ear like that. And I'm gonna wait for that to dry. Now this part, this is cute. I am going to, part I want it to be flat. I don't want it to look bulky at the top. So I'm just going to spray water on the roots of the hair. Hopefully this does not lift up my frontal because I feel it. After I spray the water, I'm going to pin up the rest and I'm just going to take that mousse to flatten the roots. Y'all see how blonde this is? Y'all look at how this is blonde, blonde. I never would have thought that I would ever wear blonde hair. So I'm just taking this big comb to comb out the tangles. I'm just going to spray a little bit of water just to get rid of that frizziness. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. Y'all, look at this. Ooh, so much blonde, so much blonde. But it's cute. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wait for this hair to dry and then I will be right back. This is so cute. I'm so ready for the fall now. Wow. Let me know what you guys think about this hair. I'll leave all of the hair details in my description box and also I'll have another video of like how I installed this hair and just a more detailed video about this wig. But I love this whole look. It came together so well. I really like this soft, matte makeup look along with this really curly blonde y'all know color me and color we just we have this weird relationship but this is different this is really different for me and i i actually like it let me know what you guys think about this hair and makeup and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys